So again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I just got my 10 by 10 inch, 10 by 20 inch canvases today. And I want to do a Dutch pour of sorts. Not sure how that's going to turn out for me. <laughs> You'll see. I could probably always tip. I may have to cover my edges later. I want to put some paint on right before I make my final decision about how much paint is going on. I'm not sure that makes any sense. Today's the first time I have used any water in my paint in literally three, three years. Oh, I got stuff in my paint again. Darn. So this is not where the water is. This is just my background color and I'm going to try and grab that at least. And I have my Amsterdam white that's watered down with a lot of Floetrol which I was using recently for a swipe I want to say catalyst but it was definitely what I was pouring my colors onto so that's what I'm going to do again and hope I have enough left I think I'm going to grab a Princeton Artil, Artil Catalyst spatula and spread that in there There we go. All right, so I have just a little bit left of my favorite hot orchid from Color Art. I am just going to use the colors that I love, which are the Folk Art Turquoise, which is probably a flash. I'm not sure that the Venetian Blue from Modern Masters will work for me, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. Because I want to know. Here's my hot orchid. That's going to go everywhere. And I want some gold, which I'm just going to add. And I think I'm going to give myself permission to add some orange. Because the orange and the gold usually sell really nicely anyway. So. I'm going to take a little bit more of that Amsterdam white. Put a bunch of this right here. Try and blow it over. So it's going to get noisy for a second. Of course, I dragged the blow dryer right through it, but made an interesting pattern. dryer into the into the paint. I 
and wondering what I want to do. I've got some great cells. The Amsterdam white really is the ticket for making some tremendous cells. I'm really tempted to use my swipe technique on top of this and just put some black, which I may or may not use all of. Okay, my swipe card was right here a second ago. I'll just use a little one. That'll be good. I'm not unhappy with that. I think I'm going to use my bamboo skewer with the paintball on the end. Drag a few things around before I contemplate whether I actually want to bring my airbrush into this I think that black would be cool, treated just the same way I just did the white. I'm quiet because I don't do this very often, so it's kind of um, entertaining for me. I kind of want some orange right there. And by the same token, I think I want some pink. Hot Orchid by Color Art. Right down here. Now I do use GAC 800 in all of my paint mixtures, so it's probably a really good thing considering how intensely heavy some of this paint is. And I should torch, but I want to get rid of this paint on my spatula first, too. Probably just touch up my edges after. I think I'm going to grab a straw. And blow some of that paint right over the side. Now, I used to like to blow into my edges. But that paint might be a little dry now. And most of the time you blow into black, you will make cells. And there are some beautiful cells in there. I will be touching up my edges. I think I might have said that already. I'm really glad I have the GAC 800 because I'm not going to tip this much at all. And I'm pretty happy with all of it, even though it filled more of the space than I thought it was going to. That's not a bad thing. I really want to put some black down here, though.
because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. The Amazon link is under the link tree that's under the video. And there we go. I'm pretty happy with all of that. And the only thing I'm thinking is that I might want some gold in there, but I have so much gold in there already, I really shouldn't be thinking that. Oh, I like that. Cool. Ha! Well, I did warn you guys there would be more experimentation with Dutch pours. And a few spirals never hurt anybody. They're not hurting my feelings either. I could throw a couple of gold dots in there and I don't think it'd hurt. So I love you guys. There's over 91,000 of you. If you have questions for me, me, feel free to ask. If you are interested in watching more videos, I have 1,700 and they're organized by the hundreds and also added to all kinds of playlists. You can find the playlists on my YouTube channel under playlists, all playlists and created playlists. I will be touching up my edges and adding a little more black right there. Because I want that more black than it is. And I'll just use the residuals on the other edge to cover the black. Excellent. All right. So thank you guys for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up. Please watch the videos longer if you can stand it. Please watch the commercials occasionally if you want to help. If you really want to help, I sell my artwork and my email address is below the link tree underneath the video. Alternatively, watching longer and thumbs up and comments are helpful. Thank you guys to everybody who has helped by donating through PayPal and Patreon. And those of you who shop the Amazon link, you know that that helps me, that assists me buying art supplies. So thank you so much. If you would like to be included in the monthly drawing where there are artworks to be won, mine, and sometimes books, please look on the end screen video. The exhibition video will include that month's drawings. That month's drawings prizes. I'm going to try and zoom in a lot more than I am. I like the colors in this one a lot. Of course, they're my favorite colors, so I think that worked out pretty nicely. It's not a typical Dutch pour, which is okay with me. I like getting creative with my paintings. What can I say? So, I love you guys. I want you to take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Thank you for everything. Shop my Amazon link. Look at my Teespring clothing below the video in case you are interested in all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. Any shopping you do helps me out. I have pixels.com and Find Art America under the link tree and also that's the shop now button on the Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more. And you can find two more Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students, and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors has albums in, with YouTube artworks that have been edited in there. What else can I tell you that's on my group sheet? Tomorrow's video is often on the community board on my YouTube channel, and also on that Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. Thank you guys very much for being here. I will see you anon. I will be touching up my edge with black paint, and after that I'll be done. You guys take care of each other. I told you that. I love you. See you soon. Bye for now. I hope you come back tomorrow. I post every day.